Good evening, uh, boys and girls. I hope we're all well. Uh, now, what you can see before you is the humble TI ninety nine four A, uh, which is a home computer. It was a home computer from Text Instruments. Just looking at the damage there that never used to be on there. Anyway, um, yeah, my first computer that I ever had. As it's got a special place in my heart. But uh, it doesn't get used much, simply because there is no composite out. Now the US models have composite, the European ones do not. The um, frequency modulation is done in a little box, it's not done inside the machine. And the little box is here. And this is a PAL modulator, a number, whatever that says, what does it say? 2036. Um, and you can see by the heaps of wires everywhere that I've done a little mod on this. What I've done is I've stuck a transistor on the colour circuit, uh, routed it to a couple of caps, and uh, a resistor going to earth and a resistor to the signal out. And what that gives us is, uh, well, a phone message obviously, um, what that gives us is composite colour out and audio. So this means now that I can plug in some of my funky stuff, SD stuff, you can see the, it's the, you know, I'm not sure about the saturation of the colour but it's pretty good. Actually it's very good. Um, yeah so I can, this means now I can uh, plug in my um, SD solutions and try some of the new software and just have a fiddle a bit with it. So there'll be some TI-99 stuff on the way, I dare say, very shortly. I've just returned from Geekfest in Cheltenham, so I'm slightly tired, hungover, and ready for bed. It's 10pm uh, now. So I thought I'd just do this little wiring mod, see if it works. I have read about it before. It's not, I mean, I haven't designed it. I did read about this before a long time ago and I can't, couldn't really find any information other than they used a transistor. So I looked at the, pill, uh, the pinouts. I did find a French or Italian website that had some information about using caps and a couple of resistors, a 68 and a 1000, 1K. Uh, the caps are two, uh, two 100s uh, UF. Um, and uh, you know, three little wires there. Unless you're interested in this sort of nonsense, it makes um, very little sense. But anyway, what it means is we can now have composite on this bad boy, which is pretty awesome. I've rewired a joystick somewhere so I can play Parsec, which I'll probably do now as I have a, a drink and relax. So that's just a quick update of, on uh, on the TI. So there's some TI stuff coming along shortly. I might, might also do a RAM mod on the A600 uh, because my my um, my um, trapdoor RAM failed for it. It's, uh, it's an old uh, old card. It did have a battery on it sometime in its life, and it's failed now. So what I might do is. Um, just do a, a piggyback RAM mod on the 600 to give it um, to a make chip. It's not difficult, I've done it before, a long time ago. So I might do that tomorrow. I'm also uh, going to etch a PCB from scratch, I've never done that before. I might do that tomorrow. Let's see, see how I feel. But that's it, just a little update on the TI-99. Bye for now.